Hello, this is New Wave of British Heavy Metal.com. Today is the 2nd of August 2020, and here we're going to look at the post that I originally put up on the blog back on the 29th of February, which was reviewing Biff Byford's solo album. Now, surely you know who Biff Byford is. I mean, the, the, the guy's a New Wave of British Heavy Metal legend, right? He's been singing for Saxon for, well, more years than, than I, well, at least 40 years, you know, probably even a bit longer than that. I couldn't tell you without checking it out, but the, the man's a legend, right? And and so is Saxon, for that matter. I mean, what one of the first bands I saw back when I discovered heavy metal in, in mid, mid late 70s, but their whole other stories, aren't they? But now Biff's taken a little bit of time out from that Saxon day job and put out a rather spectacular solo album, School of Hard Knocks right excellent excellent stuff it, it really is it, it's a mixture of you know uh, a mixture of personal autobiographical and, and really monster hard rocking songs uh, now I've, I've personally I've, I've never taken to Saxon that much I, I wouldn't say that I, I'm, I'm always reaching for a Saxon album and I, I did buy School and Hard, hard Knocks mainly out of curiosity I guess and, and also because I, I grew up a stone's throw from where Biff was from in South Yorkshire uh, and, and so therefore I, I know a little bit about School of Hard Knocks myself it was a little bit um, how can I put it challenging back then in uh, in, in the 70s in, and early 80s in, in South Yorkshire a lot of the industry was disappearing but I'm digressing again so back to it back to it uh, the, the the cover artwork there, as, as you can see, is is very much the Joe Scarborough style. Uh, again, a slight digression. Joe Scarborough, a very famous um, artist from from the area as well, that that drew pictures in in a similar style to this. Very well known for it. And I guess that the the cover art gives a little bit of a hint to the autobiographical elements in in some of the songs. But the the whole album does not disappoint in any way whatsoever it's, it's excellent stuff as, as you'd expect from bit welcome to the show starts off monster monster huge riff biff on lung busting form come on in next up he seems to be saying come on come on in and enjoy yourselves you know the title tracks biff singing about his life pretty much from that aforementioned school of hard knocks and, and making it out of it with, with saxon it's got a real wheels of steel feel about it you know the old saxon classic and it's got a really superb solo from Phil Campbell. Uh, Inquisitor is a, a, a short spoken piece which reminds me of a, a little bit like Edgar Allan Poe before the monster and pit and pendulum that comes in then at seven minutes of really high class progressive metal which Queen's Wright would have been proud of when, when they were in their prime. It, it, it's excellent pendulum and the pit. Pit and the pendulum sorry. And check out in that song some really phenomenal guitar work from Opeth's Frederick Akerson. Your jaw drop. It, it's it's all, all awesome, awesome solo, it really is. Then we move on to Worlds Collide, super heavy sci fi based theme around alien invasion. Um, then, then we've got the, the only downside to this album for me is, is what comes next, which is a cover of Scarborough Fair, you know, the, the old folksy thing. It, it doesn't work for me it, it, it comes across for, for me at least as a little bit lame and but i can understand why biff puts it on there because it, he's you know scarborough fair may, maybe means something to Biff. maybe even went to scarborough on, on his holidays like i did when i was a kid but again we're getting into other stories again aren't we? pedal to the metal and heart of steel may make up for the somewhat limp scarborough fair that they both hit hard and some more melodic tinges to it uh, then there's another cover, this time it's the old Wishbone Nash classic, Throw Down the Sword, which does work. And you, there's, there's another phenomenal jaw-dropping solo from Akerson in, in there as well. It's it's tremendous, tremendous stuff. Me and You uh, switches it to acoustic, uh, a little ditty to, to Biff, drop to, sorry, to Biff's wife. And then Black and White closes it out. In, in great style as well and, and the, the lyrics here probably hinting at Biff's attitude to life you know people say it's the end but I don't give a damn top man Biff top man so anyway Scarborough Fair apart 
top, top marks all round. A full-on heartfelt effort from Biff. And he's still at the top of his game after all those years. It, it's, it's tremendous to hear. It really is. So I would say if, if you're an old, new, heavy, British heavy, heavy metal fan like, like me that, that goes back all, all that way to when, to when Biff and Saxon started out, you'll love it. Or even if you just like good old-fashioned heavy stomping rock songs, you, you'll, you'll like it as well. So if, if it's your thing, bag yourself a copy of it. And I so say you'll, you'll enjoy it whether you're a Saxon fan or not, I'm sure. It's a proper, proper album from a proper legend of, of the new wave of British heavy metal. Still doing it 40 odd years later. Um, I'll, I'll put a link to the blog post un, underneath in the description, along with a link to the album on Amazon if you would like to pick it up. Um, all, I've, all that's left me for me to say, I suppose, is you know check out the link below, check out the album on Amazon, subscribe to the channel before you go if you wouldn't mind. That, that helps and you, you'll get to know as we put other videos up. And of course, thanks for watching and take care.